Welcome back guys! Let's continue on our journey through Nice, France. Day 2 in Nice, we are now on our way to go catch a bus through St Paul de Vin. Using Nice as a base, there are a number of towns you can visit for a day trip. We decided to go visit St. Paul de Vence. But first, we need to grab some breakfast. Look at all these yummy sandwiches. And look at this amazing apple tart. Look, it's Plasmacina again. After breakfast, we caught the bus number 400 from Nice to St. Paul de Vence. After about an hour's bus ride, we eventually saw St. Paul de Vence looming in the distance on the mountain top. Stepping off the bus, we couldn't wait to see one of the oldest medieval towns in the French Riviera. Once you walk past those medieval walls that encircle the town, you will find yourself in a whole different world filled with thousand-year-old cobblestones and narrow alleyways. In St. Paul's events, every corner you turn is a picture-perfect view. You could spend half a day here just taking photos. This guy here trying to find weird things to take photos of. This is Archer's view, man. That's how they eat it here, huh? And chicken. Can you put it in my back? Yeah. Oh, okay. My muscles are out too. Yay! After lunch, we walk down Promenade des Anglais, which runs alongside the beach. Do you see the sign that says castle in the distance? That's where we're headed to, the Castle Hill of Nice. To get to the top of Castle Hill, you can either walk up 213 stone steps or catch the elevator. Because it was a really hot summer's day, we decided to choose the elevator. Despite its name, Castle Hill no longer has a castle anymore. If you're looking forward to seeing a castle, this is all you'll find. But don't be disappointed, because this view is all worth it. Oh no, they're coming up! He's chasing you, he's chasing you, he's going! Oh, he comes. Hey guys, this looks scary. It does scary. Come on, let's go! Okay, We're heading out to dinner now. <laughs> 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 
Our Airbnb apartment was so convenient. It was right near the Notre Dame Cathedral. So we decided to go inside and have a look. And we're just leaving our apartment now to go get some breakfast mm -hmm. and then we're gonna come back to the apartment pick up all our luggage and we're gonna go check out and go catch a flight to barcelona here we are back at this place to get our breakfast so this is what jenny got today what is it um it's like chicken, it's got some egg, lettuce, tomato. Let's see. And we just copied what Jenny got yesterday because it was so good. Joyful. And healthy and well not well yeah, it's pretty healthy. Oh it's really hot. Yeah, they just toasted it, careful. But this stuff is amazing. Oh, oh sun-dried tomatoes, goat's cheese, some olive oil. A bit of some sort of chutney? Yeah, chutney, I think it is. It's fantastic. I am so hungry. But I can't hold my toasty, it's too hot. Before we can Ow. eat it. And look at this Ow. one eating away. That was me. Yesterday. Now I know why everyone seriously buys goat's cheese. <laughs> it has this like uniquely creamy but also light like cottage or Greek yogurt sort of. And with the olive oil it's, it's crazy good. Now I know why people are such a fan of olive oil as well. Because even if you don't get the content but you just get the bread part with the olive oil to it. Oh it's so good. Because we had three people this trip, it was really difficult to find a hotel that could fit three people. But fortunately, we had Airbnb, and that's where we booked this apartment. Up here there's a bit of a skylight thing where you can just open it up, pop your head out, see the rooftops of this. We had such an amazing time in Nice, but it was time to move on to our next destination, Barcelona. At this point, we had already bid farewell to Fad, who originally picked us up from the airport. So to get from our apartment back to the airport, we decided to catch an Uber. Because we had three people, Uber was actually the best option. Goodbye Nice. Wondering, Winnie. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to like and subscribe and for more travel inspiration, find me on Instagram and Facebook. See you in the next video.